Hi everyone. In this lecture, we will be discussing one more numerical based on linearity of the system. So the question will come like: check whether the following system is linear or not. And the equation is given as y of n is equal to e to the power x of n. And you know what? This is the most important question. It came in exams also multiple times. So you should be aware about this problem. So generally, we know like y of n is equal to what? Transform of x of n, right? And from this equation, you can say like y of n is equal to this. So transform of x of n becomes what? This is equal to e to the power x of n. Am I right? Fine. Now let's move further and try to solve this problem. So let an input x1 of n produces an output y1 of n. It means y1 of n is equal to what? Transform of x1 of n. Am I right? So this is equal to what? E to the power x1 of n. Okay. Now let an input x2 of n produces an output y2 of n. So from here you can say like, okay, boss, y2 of n is what? Y2 of n is basically what? Transform of x2 of n, and this will become what? E to the power x2 of n. Am I right? So these two things are clear. Fine. Now you have to calculate the weighted sum of outputs so the weighted sum of output is nothing but a1 into y1 of n plus a2 into y2 of n and we have already calculated what is y1 of n and what is y2 of n right so just put here and what will be the equation a1 into y1 of n means e to the power x1 of n plus a2 into y2 of n means e to the power x2 of n clear so this we have calculated here hope this much is clear to you so remember this this is what the weighted sum of outputs fine now let's move further and see the output due to weighted sum of inputs so let the output is what y3 of n so you have to calculate the output due to weighted sum of inputs so this will be equal to what transform of weighted sum of inputs right means a1 into x1 of n plus a2 into x2 of n now what is the general expression y of n is equal to what e to the power x of n so from here it will become what it will become e to the power instead of x of n you have to place this so e to the power what e to the power it will become a1 into x1 of n plus a2 into x2 of n clear now if you compare this y3 of n if you compare this y3 of n which is basically what the output due to weighted sum of inputs is it equal to the weighted sum of outputs so weighted sum of output is what a1 into y1 of n plus a2 into y2 of n you calculated this already right is this is equal to this no right so it is not equal so if it is not equal it means what the superposition principle is not satisfied and the given system is what a nonlinear system a nonlinear system see so the weighted sum of the outputs is not equal to the output due to the weighted sum of inputs so here the superposition principle is not satisfied therefore the given system is what a nonlinear system so this is an another example 
to check whether the system is linear or not so hope it is clear to you now slowly slowly fine okay so thanks for watching this video if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel